Welcome back to our final phase, phase seven of cargo planning calculations. Today we'll be finding final KG, final GM, and RM. Well, we already looked at a definition for both KG and GM, where KG is the center of gravity, which is weight acting vertically downwards, right? And GM is the metacentric height, which determines the condition of the vessel. Now, let's look at RM. RM is the writing moment which tends to restore a vessel to its previous state of stability, and that is after an inclination. Let us look at writing moment in a little bit more detail. Here we have two figures, one on the left and one on the right. The figure on our left is showing a stable vessel where everything is in perfect alignment. The figure on the left, uh, on the right, sorry, is displaying a vessel inclined, whether by yielding or listing. So when a vessel is inclined at an angle, the center of gravity remains the same, but the center of buoyancy changes to another position, thus creating a RM. This moment can be calculated using the formula displacement times GZ where GZ is GM sine the angle theta that represents that angle of list or heel. The writing moment is also equal to displacement times KM minus KG sine the angle. Now, GZ is the writing arm as you can see from the figure and theta is the angle of the list now let us look at a comprehensive calculation this question a vessel is floating in fresh water with length of 108 meters, beam equal 38 meters, KM equal 7.68 meters, CW equal 0 0.69, draft equal 4.07 meters, KG equal 5.2 meters, and CB equal 0 0.7. It loaded 788 tons at 4.57 meters. It loaded also 530 tons at 4.78 meters, 225 tons at 4.25 meters. 160 tons was discharged from 4.0 meters. Now, we need to calculate the following. One, TPC. Two, we have to find the new draft. Three, we have to find the final displacement. Four, final KG. Five, final GM. And six, we have to find the RM if the vessel develops a 2.3 degree list to the port side. 
Now let us look at the solution. First, we start with the TPC as stated. TPC formula length times breadth times CW times density times 0 0.01. Here we substitute the values 108 times 38 times 0 0.69 times 1 times 0 0.01 which gives us 28.318 using two decimal places 28.32 tons since the vessel is loading more than discharging we will use a sinkage formula where sinkage is weight of a tpc so let us look at all the weight. The weight is 788 plus 530 plus 225, and we're going to subtract 160 from all of that. So that is 1,543 minus 160 gives us 1,383 tons. Sinkage is therefore equal to 1,383 divided by 28.32. That gives us 48.83 centimeters. Converting centimeters to meters, we divide by 100, and we get 0 0.4883 meters, which is equal to 0 0.49 meters, two decimal places. Therefore, the final draft would be 4.07 plus the sinkage, which is 0 0.49. That gives us 4.56. Next, we need to determine the original displacement of the vessel. Okay, so let's work out our original or initial displacement length times breadth times cb times old draft times density substituting the values we have 108 times 38 times 0 0.7 times 4.07 times 1 equal 11692.3 tons now we are going to draw a table where we're going to put the weight, we're going to put kg, and we are going to work out the moments, tons, moments. Now, the displacement that we have just calculated must be the first value in our table. At the kg, the vessel entered the port. We then calculate the moments loaded and discharged. So, Let's look at the table. We have 11,692.3 original displacement and the vessel came in at a kg of 5.2. That gives us 60,799.96. Then we loaded 788 at 4.57 which gave us 3,601.16, 530 was also loaded at 4.78, which gave us 2,533.4, 225 was finally loaded at 4.25, and that gave us 956.25. We then discharge 160 at 4 meters, which resulted in a negative 640. The total weight is 13,075.3. This total weight is equal to our new displacement. Also, total moments. 
0.77. Now, using the formula, final displacement, what we got 13,075.3 tons, which we took from the table, directly from the table, we know that for us to find the final kg, we are going to use the sum of the moments divided by that final displacement, which is the sum of the weights. Substituting, we get some sum of the moments being equal to 67,250.77, and we divide that by the sum of the weights, 13,075.3. That gives us 5.14 meters as our final kg. Then using the formula GM equal KM minus kg, the vessel came in with a KM of 7.68. So we are going to subtract the kg that we have just calculated, 5.14, and that gives us 2.54. Now we are going to solve for Rm in writing moment is equal to displacement times Gm sine theta. Substituting values, we have displacement 13,075.3 times 2.54 sine the angle of list that the vessel had 2.3 the degree of least 2.3 and the resulting writing moment is equal to 1332.83 tons moments now this brings us to the end of our series of videos classified as cargo planning calculations now, I hope you would have enjoyed the series so much so that you are willing to continue to like, share, and subscribe. So stay tuned. Next, we will be looking at stowing approach. Don't miss these. Very, very important. It was my pleasure being with you today. Catch you soon.